So I want to show you how to change the shims or take the cams off a um, V-Strom 650 engine this is a Gen 1 uh, without removing the cam chain tensioner which is right there okay it's all bolted up and uh, the chain is tensioned what you do there's a little you can see the inside of the cam chain tensioner um, when you take the cam cover off you can see it down there um, it's a little bit hard to see but down the bottom of the screen there's that silver square thing it's like a wedge thing and then um, you've got the black pin which is pushing against the chain and what you do is you just push that wedge in with a long thin flathead screwdriver and then that will untension the chain and you just pop the cam out but keep keep that one on its cog and try and keep this one on its, you know the chain on the teeth as well it just makes it a lot easier so I'll just put this here so all you do you get your long screwdriver you find that wedge in there which is just the inside of the cam chain tensioner and you just push it down and you'll you'll see it move um, so that's all you do then what you do you pull up on the chain all right that'll give you yep that'll give you some slack and then you just pop the screwdriver under there and you just pop it out and you can keep it on the original teeth or try to and just um, you've got enough space there to take out the buckets and change over the shims what I did on this side I put some little markings I put these little markings here um, obviously you know the marking is there so you just got to make sure when you pop the cam back in that little square thing lines up with the mark like on that side so um, yeah you can change your shims and I'll just hopefully show you how easy it is to pop it back in after you've changed the shims all you do is push down that little wedge again and um, and then you just push back on the the um, cam and it'll just pop back in I'll show you so obviously we want it back in where it's supposed to go just click that so it untensions the chain and then just pull back and she's back in I'll just make sure it lines up Obviously we know that one lines up. And let's have a look at this one. So the cam that I popped out <clears throat> didn't line up with the marking. Um, so I had to pop it out again and just turn it one tooth for it to line up. So if you want to change the exhaust shims and the intake shims, um, if they all need doing, I would suggest doing them one at a time like leaving the cover on as you can see the intake side still got the cover on change the shims on the exhaust side then put the cover on the exhaust side and obviously take the cover off the intake side and then you can pop that cog out i think it's just a lot safer if you have one of them fastened up that way at least they're not going to both pop out and then it will just be more of a headache getting everything lined up at top dead center 
Um, I am lucky that I've got a spare motor to practice on. I haven't actually done it on my bike yet, but um, I have been practicing on this spare motor because my bike does need uh, the valve clearances changed. Um, it might be harder on the front cylinder with the radiator and the forks, etc. But I'll try the um, rear cylinder first, and if that goes well, um, then yeah, I'll give it a go on the front cylinder.